So in this module, as we said, we're going to look at some fundamental concepts that underlie embedded systems. But before we get to uh, components of an embedded system, we want to get some basics out of the way. The first important concept we're going to look at is number systems. That is, all computers use a basic representation for numbers. Um, in order to understand the binary number system, which is what the computers computers use, we'll draw parallels to a system that we are more familiar with, the decimal number system. The decimal number system is sometimes referred to as the base 10 system. A base 10 system has any, any system has two important characteristics, that is each position has a place value. That is, when I say that I have a number, uh, number of five digit number, each digit is a position. So a posi each position has a place value. And the value attributed to each place is a power of 10, which is a power of 10. The second characteristic of any number system is what are the valid values? That is, when we, the valid values are the coefficients. In the case of uh, the base 10 system, the valued values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, for example, when I look at a number like 4, 7, 2, 3 in base 10, so we to, to represent a number in base 10, we simply write it this way. We say that this number represents 4, so each of these positions, so we have 4, 7, 2, and 3, and 3 has a place value which is 10 to the 0, 2 has a place value which is 10 to the 1, 7 has a place value which is 10 to the 2, and 4 has a place value which is 10 to the 3. So when we add these together, we get the number, so which is 4720 and 3. So this number represents 4723 in base 10. So let's take a look at the binary number system which is a base two number system. So again, the first thing is we have place values which are powers of two and the valid values are 0 and 1. So for example then, if I am given a number 1, 1, 0, 1 to the base 2, so a number 1101 1, 1 to the base 2 represents the coefficients 1, 0, 1, and 1. And this 1 has a place value of 2 to the 0. This 0 has a place value of 2 to the 1. This 1 has a place value of 2 to the 2. And this 1 has a place value of 2 to the 3. So I add them up. I get an 8 plus a 4 
plus that's a zero times two to the one that's a zero plus one which is a 13 in base 10. So now that we understand how a base 2 system works and how a base 10 system works, we can actually generalize this to any base. For example, if I look at a base n system, if I look at a base n system where my it's a, n can be either 2 or 10 in this case, then the valid values are going to be from 0, 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1. So, for example, here it's 10 minus 1, which is 9. Here it is 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, as we, as we move on, any base system can be easily deciphered based on understanding what the, what the coefficients are, and what the base is.